Hey, Oncers. Welcome to uh, Season 6B and Facebook Live. We're here to answer most of your questions. Hello. Adam, would you like to start? Sure. First question we have is from Rebecca Long. She asks, as a writer, I'm always second-guessing myself and wondering if I should have done something different with the character or the plot. However, there comes a time when you just have to go with what you've got. Oh, that's a good rhyme, Rebecca. Are there any characters or stories in Once Upon a Time that you wish you had written differently? Well, I think that's the part of, of creativity, which is there's always a few roads you go down. You pick one and, you know, you, you carry on the journey. I mean, I think you always want to go back in time and sometimes you think you could improve things or not. You know, you're always rewriting until it's shot. And then at some point, I think you just have to let it go and hope you did the best. That's a great answer, Eddie. Let's look at the next question. Okay, Adam. Crystal Freeman Johnson asks, any opportunities for other Disney characters like Pocahontas, Tiana, uh, etc., or even some from Pirates of the Caribbean? Love seeing the backstories and tie-ins between the characters. Speaking of, will we get to see a backstory into Rumpel's past, Black Fairy Father? Absolutely, we're going to see the Black Fairy's origin story, and we're going to get... Uh, Rumples. We're gonna have a Rumple flashback. We're gonna have a Black Fairy flashback. We're gonna have a Gideon flashback, and we will be seeing Disney characters. This, Crystal, this question was in multiple parts, so let me try to attack it piece by piece. Uh, opportunities for Disney characters. Yeah, hopefully there will be um, someone from Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know about no, that. Um, we wish. You know, we we do love those movies, and that ride is probably my favorite at Disneyland. It's absolutely my favorite. Uh, Let's see, you love seeing the backstories and tie-ins. Will we see Rumpel's past and Eddie, Eddie, that, Eddie yeah. just took care of that. All right, I hope that takes care of that question. Moving on. Megan Donovan asks, We all know Regina is an expert at holding grudges, but will we get to see her and Zelina reunite? Could Regina be meeting a Wish Realm version of Zelina the Wicked Witch in 6B? Well, I think that that's the thing with siblings, which is you fight, and, you know, I think that they've had a lot of problems this year, and I'm, I'm rooting for them to work it out, but, you know, I don't know. Yeah, uh, you know, these are great questions. Um, they're also questions we don't want to spoil, but needless to say, we will be exploring Regina and Zelina and their relationship in the second half of the season. Okay. All right. Archie Gray asks, is Henry ever going to get the author's pen again because is it still a living spirit in the spirit world and it will easily and will easily be obtained? Well, um, Archie, I would say that Henry's role as author plays a pivotal part in the second half of the season. And uh, I think we should leave it at that for now. Yes. Okay. Carol Partido Solorzano asks, thank you for making the musical episode. Are the actors just as excited as the fans are? Well, Carol, uh, we're currently in the middle of making it, and I would say everyone is really excited. I mean, this has been so much fun to do. It's been an incredible challenge, and uh, we really can't wait for you yeah, to get a really, chance to see it. Yeah, we're really excited for you to see it and see how talented the actors are, and I can tell you they, they, uh, they are very excited. All right. Carl, no, 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 we just, oh, we just did that one. Okay, sorry, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Mario Leon Ragatagliata, sorry if I killed your name there. When and how you got the idea to create Once Upon a Time? I really would like to hear about the moment or moments until that project became a reality into a series with six seasons until now. Well... About 15 years ago, we were sitting on a couch in, uh, I believe it was Eddie's apartment. In Hollywood. In Hollywood, talking about what would we like to do next. And we were talking about fairy tales, and we were talking about... Um, How hard it would be if you were the evil queen, and you were constantly surrounded by happy endings. You know, I mean, you get a gingerbread oven to work, and that stupid witch can't even kill two children. You would be frustrated all the time. And we said, well, where would be the one place she could win? Our world, and that's kind of the genesis. And then from there, we hit. Everyone on, passed. Right. Well, we hit on the idea yeah. of if Snow White and Prince Charming had a, a daughter who came to this town run by this evil queen, that could create incredible conflict and storytelling opportunities. And when we excitedly went to pitch it to everyone, everybody said no. 
and uh, it took many years of, of hard work and working on the idea and think of it, thinking of it, and trying to develop it before it saw its final form as Once Upon a Time. Yeah, literally. I mean, almost you know over ten years until we got to bring this to life, but we never gave up. So. Uh, for a show about hope, it started with two writers really hoping someone would say yes. All right. Emily Natsios, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, Emily asks, will Jafar show up again as a bigger villain? Would love to see more of him on the show because Oded Fair, smiley face, and also more of Aladdin and Jasmine. Well, um, yes, Jafar will return. Oded is fantastic, and we can't wait for you to see uh, what he does with the character. And yeah, there's more of Aladdin and Jasmine. We're going to be seeing Agrabah, and we're going to be seeing some of our core characters on an adventure there. Yeah, Jasmine, uh, we're going to realize that Jasmine and Ariel uh, may have a past together, so uh, there's a lot of Agrabah still to be had this yeah, year. Yeah, if you ever wondered what it would be like for a mermaid in a desert, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Uh, that was your question. Amber Isbell asks, will we ever get a backstory on the Blue Fairy Mother Superior? She's a recurring character, but we don't know much about her. Well, we are going to be seeing more about her in the Black Fairy flashback. As far as an origin story for uh, the Blue Fairy, that's something that we're not going to get to this year, but maybe someday we will. But we will see more of her past yes. as we uh, learn about the Black Fairy and, and kind of some of the history of fairies and, yeah. and that mythology. She plays a big part in that. So, uh, so there's hopefully some interesting blue fairy, um, blue fairy and black fairy stuff coming up. All right, and then this question is from everyone. They want to know if there's going to be a season seven. Well, I can tell and, you that we are asking the same question. We're part of everyone. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we're waiting like you are by the phone, but if you want to let ABC, listen, if you, we have plans for a season, season seven, we have exciting plans for season we're, seven. Yeah, we're very excited about it. You just gotta let ABC know that you wanna see it. If not, you know, this could be the last year. But uh, we're, we're, uh, we're hopeful and excited, and we thank you for your support. Yeah. Okay, and the fans have a lot of live questions for you, so I will try to get to a couple. All right. Thank Devin, you, Sylvia. Devin Justice Talbert wants to know, will Henry have a bit of a bigger, more grown-up role this season? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Completely. I mean, Henry's been, it's been amazing to watch Jared as an actor and a person grow up over the course of the show, but the character is growing up too, and he has a a very uh, big part in the second half of the season. Yeah, I mean, in addition to being an author, we're going to see Henry being called upon to be a hero yet again. And, you know, he has the heart of the truest believer, and that belief um, is never more important than the second half of the season. And it's great to see him growing up with, with two mothers, um, you know, Emma and Regina, and how they've affected him and how he affects them, I mean, and his crazy extended family. And Jenna Blackmore would like to know, what kind of plots do you like to write best? Are any of the characters easier or better to write for than others? You know, it's it, it, our approach isn't about the plot so much as it is about the characters. So we, we love all the characters, and it's each week when we approach an episode, we usually think about it from the perspective of which character's story are we telling this week, you know, via flashback or whatever, and what's going on with them. And then the plot tries to it usually grows out of that so it starts with what's most interesting and exciting about the characters and they all excite us and that's what's fun about doing the show is delving into each and every one of them lord gary martin bramald would like wow. to know who came up with the idea of the show and how do you imagine the two sides of one character me it was all my idea all mine uh, I we both came up with it together in my apartment, and um, you answer the second part. Uh, you know, uh, as far as the two sides of the characters, that was one of the core ideas behind doing the show, which was asking questions like, why is the evil queen evil? Why is grumpy grumpy? Why is the Mad Hatter mad? Like these kind of questions, like there are all these iconic characters that we've all grown up with, we all know, we all love, but we wanted to really try to dimensionalize them beyond the way they appear when you know when I read a story to my kids and try to really dig deep in and figure out like what could make them tick and that was the excitement of, and, of making the show for and us. I think also we wanted to really explore what is a happy ending well what would be taken from them so that was kind of where the idea of the cursed town came and the duality of the roles 
Okay, and Kevin Mice would like to know, will Emma improve her magic skills and finally become the greatest sorceress that ever lived? That's a great question. It is. I mean, I think she's pretty good, though. She's top ten. She's top ten. Yeah. We'll see. She's got a lot of fighting to do. And Jake Morley Stone would like to know, Zelina has gone from Wicked Witch to stay-at-home mum this season. Will she be getting back into the fray with more green fireballs? Well, I think what we can say is you will be seeing green uh, in the second she's half. She's definitely going to be back in the fray, and she's yeah. more wicked than ever. Yeah. And for our last question, Caitlin Oliver wants to know, can you tease anything about Hook's adventure with Ariel and Jasmine? Well, um... I think that uh, all three of them, you will find, are motivated very strongly, um, and and the and and by by something that's pushing at each one of them, and they find that only together can they potentially solve all their problems, and that, that is infuriatingly vague. But well, uh, <laughs> we can tell you that it's going to be episode fifteen, and if this weekend is eleven, so it's right. in a few weeks. It's in a few weeks. Coming up. And thank you. Is that it? That's it. Thank you, thank one you, everyone. Listen, thank for you. six seasons, we uh, never would be here without your support. And I have to tell you, we work hard, us and the actors, every day. Um, and we thank you for inspiring us yeah, six seasons you. in. Thank you so much. We, we love you all and really appreciate it.